Welcome, I'm Dr. Gregory Offer, the PI of the Faraday Institution funded multi-scale modeling project. I'm a reader in mechanical engineering and lead part of the electrochemical science and engineering group at Imperial College London. Our work spans nine institutions and involves coders and mathematicians, modelers and experimentalists, engineers, electrochemists, and material scientists, making this a truly interdisciplinary team. We also have multiple collaborations with industry and international academic partners. Our team of internationally excellent researchers involves 23 academics working together to solve some of the biggest problems in lithium ion battery research. We started in March 2018 with a number of challenges which were holding back the community and this led to five main objectives and goals. We have subsequently made significant progress in all of these five main areas. We have pushed the boundaries of the fundamental science and published multiple leading edge transformative and original papers on modeling lithium ion batteries. We have used our models to optimize the design of cells, modules and packs, which have led to multiple spin-off projects with industry. We have written probably the fastest continuum modeling code in the community, which will rapidly speed up how fast these design iterations can be explored. We have published new standards with the potential to revolutionize the global battery industry's understanding and exploitation of thermal management. We have demonstrated this is key to extending performance and lifetime and reducing cost at the system level. We have created and published new methodologies and techniques to parameterize models, measure electrolyte properties and characterize the three-dimensional structure of cells. We have bridged some of the gaps separating the disparate modeling communities and published original research into graphite staging that linked all the length scales and modeled point defects in high nickel cathodes for the first time. And we have created new tools that enable a charged interface for atomistic simulations to be modeled explicitly for the first time, delivering a step change in capability. We have created an open source platform for collaboration on continuum and control models, which is growing into a global community. We are working with multiple UK industry partners, training and teaching them how to exploit this so they can be the first to benefit from the coordinated global effort we are leading to solve some of the biggest problems in modeling. At the core of this global community is PIBAM. Before the project started over three years ago, I estimated that to truly solve the problems we identified would require a coordinated effort of over 200 researchers over many years. Our project funds around 25 researchers, and in the first few years, we've added roughly the same amount as PhD students or collaborators from sister projects. Therefore, this is still not enough. The creation of PIBAM was the solution to this problem by offering the international community something of value, a professional open source code which is supported, we are able to achieve the critical mass necessary to tackle the biggest problems in battery modeling. Specifically, how to couple all of the relevant physics in a single fast enough coding environment with a low barrier to entry for modelers who may not be expert coders and scientifically to couple all the complicated interactions between multiple degradation mechanisms. PIBAM is designed to be a sand pit, which can be used for multiple purposes. It already has numerous plug and play physics, and we are adding more continuously. It is also user friendly and experiments can be run using a simple text based command system that replicates how experiments are designed in the lab. There is an interface with Simulink, and it can also be run in the cloud. There are already groups outside our project that are embracing it and using it and therefore contributing back to the community. The other half of our common modeling framework is Dandelion, which is designed to be the fastest physics-based battery model on the market. It is a version of the Doyle, Fuller, Newman pioneered pseudo two-dimensional model, but it is orders of magnitude faster than other solvers we have available, and therefore can be used in a distributed thermal model far more effectively. It can also be used as a digital twin which offers numerous benefits for industry to track an asset over its lifetime. It can be explored using the web app dandelion.com and we are interested in talking to industry partners to further develop our exploitation plans. 
At the atomistic length and time scale, researchers in our project have created the first ever simulation of actual energy storage devices, not relying on approximations of the charged interface, but modeling it explicitly in one tep. The one tep code scales linearly with the number of atoms and therefore enables much more realistic structures to be modeled computationally affordably. The addition of charged interfaces is a significant breakthrough and will enable materials discovery in silica to consider how a material will behave under realistic device conditions. Again, new capability in one tap, the inclusion of an explicit electrolyte model is also developing new capability that enables atomistic simulations to model physics that has not been possible to model before. As well as creating new groundbreaking capability, we have also been using our tools to study the physics of important phenomena. We have studied the voltage hysteresis in graphite extensively, a much overlooked phenomena. And by linking the length scales have demonstrated that subtle differences in potential between charge and discharge can be explained by differences in the staging of graphite that is driven by fundamental energy barriers. The models we create are almost useless if they cannot be parameterized and validated. This is a necessary requirement for industry to trust our models. Therefore, we have invested significant effort in understanding how to streamline and standardize our parameterization procedures. Understanding how to measure a large number of parameters in a cost-effective way. We have done this for a commercially available high energy density 21700 M50 cell from LG Chem with the latest materials, NMC811 positive electrode and silicon oxide doped graphite negative electrode. We have also initiated two large scale degradation studies on this cell, both calendar aging and cycle aging under multiple different conditions. In most continuum models, the electrolyte is represented by lumped material properties. The fundamental parameters are typically combined together in such a way that significant fidelity of the actual physics is lost and the effect of the electrolyte on behavior cannot properly be resolved. Our work on measuring the comprehensive parameter set for the most common electrolyte materials is groundbreaking and world leading. We are expanding this to electrolyte mixtures and this will significantly improve the capability of our models. It will enable our models to include the effects of degradation mechanisms that change the behavior of the electrolyte over time in a physical way for the first time. Using our models is just as important as developing them. Some of our latest work published in Joule studies the effect of calendaring on electrode performance in a model for the first time. The use of modeling tools and approaches developed within our project are also being exploited by the Nextrode sister project. Models of realistic microstructures are expensive to generate experimentally, and it would be extremely useful to be able to generate them computationally in order to explore the effect of manufacturing variables on their performance. We have used machine learning to generate three-dimensional microstructures that are visually indistinguishable from and show excellent agreement with real images. To go from the poor scale to a continuum model of a cell, it is necessary to approximate these microstructures into generalized lumped composite material properties, such as a diffusion coefficient, porosity, or tortuosity. Tortuosity is particularly challenging to define and therefore measure, as it is a function of so many complex variables. Our latest work introduces a new concept called the electrode tortuosity factor, which captures the transport processes relevant to porous electrodes far better than the flow through type port tortuosity factor more typically used. In particular, it demonstrates the importance of non-percolating dead end pores in the performance of real electrodes. Another use of our models is to change the industry. The majority of the lithium ion battery industry has fallen into a subsystem optimization trap and has not designed cells for packs that can be easily thermally managed. An exception to this is the new 4680 Tesla cell. In order to change the way the industry thinks, we have created the cell cooling coefficient, 
described in a recent Nature article, which is a method to compare how easy it is to reject heat from a cell. We are working with industry to design a new generation of market leading cells that offer significant benefits in usable energy, lifetime and system level cost. If the industry adopted the cell cooling coefficient as a standard, then it would become a measure for competition. It would therefore change the way the industry views the importance of cost effective thermal management. Looking forward, the UK has multiple green shoots which with careful nurturing could lead to a mature and thriving battery industry. Our project has made and will continue to make a significant contribution towards this. And we will work with any UK company that is willing to engage with us. We will continue to invest in the common modeling framework through which PIBAM will be at the heart of the largest multinational collaborative battery modeling effort in the world. This will put us in a unique position to help UK industry exploit the outputs for their own advantage. We will also use this to be a platform to publish groundbreaking world leading scientific papers. With a similar vision, we are already applying the tools we have developed to solve some of the most significant problems facing the battery industry in the future. We have begun to apply our modeled modeling tools to study sustainability and designing for the complete life cycle and will continue the work we have started on understanding thermal management. We will also use the models that couple degradation mechanisms to create tools capable of predicting degradation and lifetime. The UK is both historically and currently a world leader in the development of new battery materials. We are supporting this by developing new computational methods to understand and control the interfaces between materials. This will revolutionize the tools available for materials discovery. Scientifically, this will address the often ignored, because it is hard, interactions between the electrolyte and electrodes. The UK also has a significant chunk of the global high value systems engineering economy in batteries, the most visible being, but not limited to, the motorsport sector. In addition to providing tools for pack design and optimization, we will develop models for advanced model-based control strategies that can significantly improve the performance of battery packs during operation. Thank you for your attention.